Hello to all the meeps and bubbles and welcome back. Today I have something different planned. I gave the duplicants a whole bunch of different tasks on different asteroids. For example digging on the main planet, finishing the interplanetary exchange system on Wade's planet here in the top right corner, tiling in the open spaces in the lower parts of the same base. Which will take forever. On Sekou's place may be excavating this natural reserve down here with the slime and clay pockets. And while the dupes are doing that, I will go outside and have a barbecue. On Sekou's place, I want the dupes to finish this here in the top left corner as well, the interplanetary exchange system, which even spans the top row of the whole planet. And my plan is that if I come back tonight, that the dupes at least have finished a little bit of what I asked them to do. Or should I say, task them to do. On Aiden's asteroid, for example, there is a big digging order for the duplicants, as well as a lot of liquid to mop and a little bit more to dig to the down left. As for Zebul, I figured we do have this giant array of liquid and magma, so I put down an insulated tile layer right in between the liquid and the magma. You might have an idea what I try to do with that later on. Also dupes, mop up this mess and collect all the stuff. This will hopefully keep you busy for a while. On Flodister, our powerhouse of a planet, I thought about placing background tiles behind all of our flower pots, but most importantly produce a whole lot of steel. And if I accidentally walk by the PC, I might take in another duplicant for Flodista. One more duplicant for our collection. Put them away and store them somewhere. Preferably with food and oxygen. So it is a few hours later, or to be exact, one day later. Let's see what the dupes built. They finally finished our interplanetary exchange system to the top left. Same to the top right. Is this burnt out? It is burnt out because we aren't cooling it yet. Which we can do by hooking this up. Like so. Then the dupes need to repair this sadly. Deconstruct auto sweeper and rebuild it. The dupes also dug a little bit of the Ignis rock and the obsidian down here. On Wade's planet we placed a little bit more plastic, ran out of water again so I had to reroute some of our water system which I just done recently and they finished the system to the top left and finished the system to the top right. Now we can exchange material with at least Flodista. I think Flodista is to the left and the main planet should be to the right if I'm correct. On Seiku's place, Ada is now finally able to build those rails. Sadly, got a little bit of radiation poisoning while building the rails behind our Wii Swords. Puked for like 5 cycles. I had to print another dupe that took over her task and now there are two dupes, Hassan and Ada. And I think I'm inclined to print even a third dupe so we can use Steku's place for more material production and I can build a proper base here to the left maybe so it looks nicer. And the oxygen production is also not the best, it is just for like three duplicants in the first place. On Aiden's asteroid we progressed the digging task quite a bit. We also took in another duplicant, where is she? There is Mima. Welcome Mima to the base. The interplanetary exchange system to the top left has been built and the one to the top right has been built as well. This time I didn't forget the cooling, I just forgot to pump the water in. I had it running basically overnight so just started it, connected it and now the water is flowing there. This one hasn't been connected yet so let's do that just like so I think. Cut this here, make this a high priority. On Zepiel, we collected a lot of material, did not build any exchange systems, but closed off this abyssalite magma part down here with the brine and clear water in it. Why? Oh, I also have an infinite storage here. With a delector wall for some reason. This was a regular wall just a few minutes ago. Uh, hours. The insulated tiles here should protect the base from the magma when I eventually just dig through it and drop it on top of the magma. I will place some steam turbines here on top and maybe extract a lot of power from this for hundreds of cycles or I'm gonna make the magma and whatever is their obsidian make this a one solid block. But for now let's close this off. I left this here open so the dupes don't die when I don't watch them. This here can be closed off as well. No, we need to get rid of the liquids first. So maybe I just wait a little bit and fill this up completely. Let's check if we even have the material for a steam turbine. Just a single one. <laughs> Time that we get a exchange system here on the top left. Or I just send over stuff via interplanetary payloads. Here on Fuldista, the interplanetary exchange system is to the top right. This time even cooled, not hooked up yet. Same with the other ones, just have to connect them. Let's see here and here, cut this, cancel this and let's see. 
Yep, flows as intended. The rest of the planet, let's see, we have dupes that peed everywhere for no apparent reason. I have to mop this up and on the lower right we produce a little bit of steel. We do have 9.9 .9 tons, which isn't much, but better than nothing. Seku's planet will also get a major overhaul. Our power grid, as you can see, is pretty much all over the place. I want a main power spine here, where the ladder is, which is bad for the dupes decor, but it's easier than build it completely new to the left. So we can just um, place down the power transformers to the left and to the right and power our single floors. I'm also expanding, as you can see here, our oxygen system, doubling it up, doubling the dupes that we can have on this planet and more of the sweepers that automatically collect our food. Then I can just close this off, have this a stable temperature and don't worry about it anymore. We also have a new patron duplicate. Welcome Mr. Steve to the base. Mr. Steve will live on Steku's place and will get a very nice bedroom and so on and so forth if we can find a dupe for them. Ugly Cryer, Sparkers Trigger, Destructive and Destructive. Do they get stressed here? Yes, a lot probably. Night Owl. Maybe I wait three more cycles to get a new duplicant. I don't like the dupes that are here. But I'm using one of the dupes to print for Flodista, which makes them dupe number, let's check this, number 39. Dupe number 39, welcome to the base. Yeah, I still haven't fixed this. This is just the pipes here in the, this here. The pipes in the background with the steam. The steam is only sent over if our gas reservoir is empty, then it stops and waits for a long time to refill. I should also add a door system to this here so I can deactivate it more easily and take away the hazards for the dupes. And with this, we have a system that we can now deactivate better than before. Okay, second try for Mr. Steve. Let's check this out. This time we have Turner, Joshua and Rowan with binge eating, ugly crying and binge eating. Ugly crier is preferred, but we do have an interior decorator twice, uncultured iron guard, kitchen manners, unpracticed artist. I think we take the dupe with the science, agriculture and cuisine. Mr. Steve, welcome to Steku's planet. Welcome to the base. You will get a nice sleeping... You will get a nice bedroom, not like Hassan, but this might take a while. Game, could you please just... Thank you. For now, let's just give you a improvised room right here below the parku. The bed has been built, I added a little bit of decoration as well. I still don't get why the game lets me choose diseased duplicants for this bed. Why is that even an option? And there we go, with this we have the bedroom finished. I think of adding a new duplicant to Aiden's asteroid. We need a little bit more help building stuff. We have Liam here, Vomitor, Otto. Same. And Nicola destructive. We don't want Nicola, but we can use a science machinery or athletics. 13. Decreased medicine. Cannot build. Why would we need you? You can't build. But you can collect stuff. Mm, no. Let's take the super productive one. Liam, welcome to the base. Let's make you a bedroom somewhere. Maybe where it is nice and cold. <laughs> I decided against nice and cold and I think I'm going to build it here to the left. Just some regular rocket bed right here. Place down the door, place down a few walls, make this at least 28 tiles, correct? 24 tiles, 24 tiles. Make this central, yep, like this. Two more sculpting blocks, even though they do not have any effect at the moment. Give this a cobalt color, why not? Add two of those, grab a little bit of crown molding and then maybe give you a bedroom, a bathroom. Lavatory right here, a shower right here. Under medicine we can find a sink, can place this down as well and make this a little bit prettier with another sculpting block and a smaller one if we can find it down here made from granite of course for the corner this is granite nice close this here off now ah, we can make this we can even have this as a airflow tile for better airflow exchange maybe i can place something down in this corner as well make this a nine and then we wait Hassan sadly didn't make it. Hassan just starved to death. Even though we have 160,000 calories, he was not trapped. There was no problem. They have a nice eating room here at Steku's Great Hall. Here, check it out. But he was just too stubborn to actually grab something to eat. So we need a new dupe here. Some new dupe will get Hassan's old room. We also don't need this mess table here, which was Hassan's first mess table. Hassan could just go there, grab a Paku, eat something, but apparently he didn't want to. 
At least Mr. Steve is eating good. And Ada of course. Okay, let's get a new dupe for Seku's place, because the last one died. We have a Meep here. Destructive and Nagli Cryer nails. Buff, pacifist, nice nails, very nice. Welcome to the base. And I have to do the priority and skill thing again. Hey, at least we finished the room of Liam. We can even make it a little bit prettier. Back at Seku's place. We now have two functioning self-powered oxygen modules right next to each other. They are basically identical except for the piping I had to improvise here a little bit so that all the piping fits in properly. All the hydrogen that we are not using up is either stored or dumped into space. The oxygen that we are using is pumped in our atmosuits first. I increased the atmosuit count to 3 here and to 2 here to the left. Then it is dumped into the modules where the dupes live, eat and poop and the rest goes into the base. The second one feeds the base directly and then feeds the system that you've seen before. So, But in the long term I plan to use the second spawn to power the left side of the base or to fill the left side of the base with oxygen. So we can make this here, the living modules, which are nicer, definitely nicer. A bit more decor can't hurt. I'm adding more decor to different places of this base. Doesn't this look much nicer? Now to the next place. This one here. I chose blue for the bathrooms and pink for the hospital. While we're at it, why not make the food area green? I also just noticed that we have a population of 4 but only 2 mess tables. Why should only 2 of the dupes get a plus 6 morale boost? We do not want that, we want all of them to get this. This is still a great haul, nice plus 6 morale, so the dupes just have to finish this. Oh come on, why? Calling and incapacitated. Let's mark this as 5. Go to the incapacitated. <sighs> how, Mr. Steve, how? I disallowed them from going through the door. Here, no one is allowed. There's only Ada allowed. Same goes for this door here to the left. And there are Atmosuits, so he must have slipped through somewhere else. And uh, maybe. Nope, not possible, not possible. All the way around, also not possible. How did you get there, dude? How? Okay. Do we have a triage cut? Yes, we do. Make this the highest priority for Mr. Steve and check if any other dupe is actually saving them. Um, how can I see that? Ada, okay, there you are. Thank you, Ada, for being very helpful. At least one dupe, <laughs> at least one dupe does what they're supposed to do. Mr. Steve, hold on. We can't save you. Come on, Ada. Thanks a lot. Just dump them in there, not even putting him in on the triage court. C come on, Mr. Steve. Are you suddenly fine? What happened? Yeah, there you go. Weird. Absolutely weird. <laughs> At least Ada is taken care of. Mr. Steve just got up and grabbed something to eat, okay? I was wondering what his plans were. And I also try to rearrange the door here. Maybe it is one of those, if the dupes come from below, the door is just ignored, no matter what I set into it, the kind of cases. Oh man, Mr. Steve again. How? Dude, why? I love how Ada just heartlessly drops him on the floor and then goes away. <laughs> Mr. Steve finally earned enough skill points and the right to wear an atmosuit, so we can leave them here. So we can allow them to actually pass our door system here and here to the left. Finally allowing them to help Ada out a little bit. And what is this? Steel or a Meep Otto or Gosman? Let's print another duplicate on Flodista. We haven't done that for a while. Check the schedule. We are at dupe number 40. The vomiter will do just fine. Welcome number 40 to your demise. This place has been transformed quite a bit and as you can see I had to build the shovels more of a cage system. Because of all the lag the shovels stopped well they calculated their travel path differently than before and they just ignored my water or in our case the petroleum and jumped over it. So I had to catch them and place them in there again, which normally never happens. I have had this for like 40 hours in this setup without the doors and it worked perfectly fine and now they can jump over it, but only sometimes. It's just when the game lags especially hard. Since this screen is looking quite nice, 
except for the mess up here that the dupes still need to pick up, we can continue with the second screen here. This is our mealwood area, then we have the great hall with the toilets and they already finished the recreation room, nice. Let's focus on the mess hall next. The mess hall and the bathroom have been finished so we can continue with the mealwood room here. Aiden and Lamb are doing a great job here in unison and Mima helps out occasionally as well if the game doesn't stutter too much. This room has been finished as well so let's continue with our heating room. Aiden and Lamb in unison again. One more room finished. How about a ladder room next? At least up to down here. A fresh and clean white should do. Made from granite. The dupes finished the ladder shaft. One tiny side project might be. You can see here the soda fountain. We ran out of carbon dioxide because there's no more carbon dioxide in the usual space that I picked it up from. So I'm going to build a carbon dioxide producing area. A simple coal generator should do the trick. I want it automatically filled up. Okay, now that this is filled, I want to automate the coal generator as well. Okay, let's just grab this one, copy this. I know this is totally overkill, but I can't think at the moment. So let's connect this via a cable here. Connect it to this. We do not need this here connected and we just tell this sensor if above one kilogram activate the gas pump. So we avoid drawing a vacuum in here, which we might need to do anyways to just clear this up again. Okay, let's see if this works. I had this run for a couple of cycles and just went up and cleaned my room in that time. So this gas pump is not running because it is disabled because there is no carbon dioxide in this areas. It will activate once this is above one kilogram and there is carbon dioxide here. We need a coal generator to run a little bit longer to produce more carbon dioxide. This will stop once it reaches 1.8 kilogram. At the moment it looks like this. The system on the other planet still isn't working. I integrated a food dropper here, which drops the food that is collected by the sweepies. Since the sweepy food needs to be manually emptied, I'm also adding a system that does that automatically. A few auto sweepers and a few conveyor loaders. All of them connected up to our conveyor rail. The system finally activated and it is sending over small packages of carbon dioxide. Nice. Which dupes can then use, fill up and finally deliver to the soda fountain again. Let's see if this works. Mima should be delivering the stuff. That is nice. And the canister filler is at 25 kilograms again. On Aiden's asteroid I'm using the polluted water dump for a little bit more fresh oxygen production. We do need sand for that and we only get sand by crushing other stuff. But we do have enough material on this planet to pull this off. On Seku's planet we managed to build the automatic delivery system here. As you can see, by this auto we were picking up the stuff that the sweepy collected, delivering it to the conveyor loader and sending it up upwards. Everything that is a spindly crop fruit will be dropped, the rest will be sent to this tile here. This is our one tile storage, basically. Here I am back again, it has been a few hours since the last time. I just noticed that we are in a certain temperature range right here. The plants can grow from 15 to 50 degrees Celsius. At the moment we are at 42 here, at 48 down there and at 46 up here. So it might be time to actually cool this down now. We can just use regular granite which is um, abundant material here. <laughs> or aluminum, take a look at this. I can't even see their number correctly, 200 tons? What the heck? Nice. Okay, let's... Um, I think with the aluminum being highly conductive, it is enough to place it down in a way like this. And a snake pattern. Can the dupes reach this? They cannot make it like this. Hey, game. And while we're at it, should we cool the oxygen as well? No. Then we need a pipe downwards. Yeah, one here. One here, connect this up like this, connect this up here and connect it here. Save this as camera point zero and play. On Aiden's asteroid they at least finished this setup here. I want these two tiles to be built, deconstructing this and finally finishing this here as well. Nice, they finally did it. Now we can deconstruct both of the ladders and reconstruct our nice air tunnel thingy. Vertical air tunnel, there it is. 
That was nice and quick. It didn't even took three seconds to build the thing. I couldn't even start the recording fast enough. We still have these unfinished marble blocks here. That's because we do not have a dupe that can actually sculpt something out of it. So let's check our dupes. Do we have skill points? We do. Lamb has three skill points but isn't able to learn this. Our lovely Aiden has a lot of skill points and the moral isn't that tight. So we could actually give him the masterworks. We can skill scrub them if something happens. Liam on the other hand is a carrier and a builder. I should make him a digger as well. Mima same. Improved carrying can't hurt. Yeah. And with this we do have one dupe that can actually sculpt those things. Let's make the priority of them higher for sculpting. Maybe. Priority on Aiden's asteroid. Here. And decorating. Hi. Something funny or unfunny happened here. Take a look at our temperature. There's a big gradient now. It looks like a rainbow flag because we got rid of our temp shift laid behind those tiles here. They just got replaced by the drywall. So I'm not sure where to place it. Like one, two, three, four, five. And I also made these priority nine so that Aiden himself can profit from his newly discovered skills. And also please replant those plants. Because we do have our sensor up here and these things are still cooking our base, I will deconnect them for a while, have the dupes build more temp shift plates that they can reach the sensor and while we're at it just heat up these three tiles and maybe this tile here so our lovely Aiden does not freeze while sleeping. Even though a nice and cool sleeping temperature is appreciated most of the times but not as cold as our dupes down here. No? Oh, it heated up in the meanwhile, nice. I also think that we can put this here to 1.5 instead of 1.8 kilogram and have this stop because we are burning through a lot, three tons of coal just for the dupes to have a little bit of soda. <laughs> but our gas pipes are filled so we do have 25 tiles here is a new canister full of carbon dioxide which can be used at a soda fountain giving the dupes plus four morale and plus one science. Our lovely Aiden is so kind, sculpting more statues. This time in our mechanical surfboard recreation room. This recreation room has been finished already. And with this I will see you next time. This has been 100 recording snippets spanning more than 16 hours. Luckily for me, a lot of that was just running in the background and not me actively trying to rescue all the dupes. If you still want to see more of these videos, please leave a like for this. While the first video started with 50 likes, the last one was down to 20. So I'm not really sure if you actually like me doing those. Still, it is a good training for me. Wish you all a great day and I'm